This video will introduce you to correlating markets. In this video, you will learn what correlating markets are, why markets correlate, that market correlation can break down. Market correlation is where the price of two or more markets moves together in the same direction. Different markets correlate for different reasons, and understanding the fundamentals behind the correlation can present trading opportunities. For example, the Australian dollar and gold are closely linked, and when the price of gold increases, the Australian dollar becomes stronger. Let's look at this more closely to see why. Australia is a large producer of gold exports to the global market. In other words, buyers from other countries will buy gold from Australia. In order to do so, these buyers must first convert the currency they are using into Australian dollars. If the price of gold increases, a buyer of gold will then need to acquire more Australian dollars in order to purchase gold. Because there is now more demand for Australian dollars to buy the commodity, the value of the Australian dollar appreciates against other currencies. Hence, there is a correlation between gold and the Australian dollar. Correlations can also be negative when fundamental factors cause a rise in price for one market and a fall in price of another. To demonstrate a negative correlation, we will look at the US dollar and gold. In times of an average economic downturn, investors may lose their appetite for risky assets, such as equities or bonds. They may sell their risky assets and gain US dollars. They then exchange their US dollars into foreign currencies in order to purchase gold on the world market. Therefore, demand for the US dollar declines, whereas the demand and the price of gold have risen. So the US dollar declines in strength against other currencies and the price of gold will rise, hence a negative correlation between the markets. When the economic outlook is good, however, investors may feel they can make higher returns by investing in the US equity market, resulting in less desire for gold. Consequently, capital flows away from gold and into the US dollar, resulting in a negative correlation. Using a further example, we can see a positive correlation between oil and the Canadian dollar. Canada is currently one of the largest exporters of oil in the world, and the US is the largest consumer of oil. Almost all of Canada's oil is exported to the US. Oil importers have to use Canadian dollars to be able to buy Canadian oil, and so when the price of oil increases, it takes more Canadian dollars to purchase it. There is now more demand for the Canadian dollar and so its value increases in conjunction with the price of oil, resulting in a positive correlation. There are, however, times when the correlation between markets breaks down under abnormal economic circumstances. For example, we have established that during periods of an economic downturn, investors and traders will seek a safer investment in gold, and capital will flow away from the US dollar. In an economic crisis, however, this pattern can break down because the US dollar is seen as a safe haven as well as gold. In an economic crisis, some investors may want to buy US dollars, whereas other investors revert to gold. Therefore, both gold and the US dollar may gain value when the economic outlook is in a particular state of turmoil. So far, you have learned that certain markets correlate, and this is useful to understand when trading. Examples of positive correlation include the Australian dollar and gold, oil and US dollar and Canadian dollars. An example of negative correlation can include the US dollar and gold. Market correlations can sometimes break down in abnormal market conditions, such as the US dollar and the price of gold.